Animals missing from wildlife in need near Charlestown, Indiana. The state of Indiana saying tonight they want the owner Tim Stark taken into custody. It's all new here on the night team. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. This state of Indiana continuing their investigation, pursuing its lawsuit to shut down the nonprofit for good. This week, moving animals off the property. Shay McAllister headed to the scene near Charlestown tonight, breaking down the big developments. This video from inside the property showing at least 40 animals that have been removed from wildlife in need. Experts working with protection from law enforcement to get the animals out. But now new court records highlight a myriad of issues with the removal, including stark threatening violence against the people working on the case and animals that have been previously accounted for coming up missing. Here's what he told me on Friday. Nathan poked this bear so many times, the bear's tired of being poked. The bear's gonna stand up and fight back. It's that simple. According to the new court documents, when the team got on site Friday, almost $120,000 worth of animals were missing, including birds, a wolf, spider monkeys, and two cougars. Two days later on Sunday, the removal crews reported another $50,000 worth of animals missing, including the sloth, commonly featured in Tim Stark's shows. And then hours into day two of the operation, someone on the removal team found a box truck parked near a wooded area, about 50 to 100 yards from wildlife in need. Inside, they found a number of the missing animals without ventilation, without water. They say it was 83 degrees outside. At the same time, officials described Stark talking on social media to encourage his followers to commit violence against the removal team. In response, the state of Indiana filed an emergency motion asking for Tim Stark to be taken into custody until the rest of the animals are safely removed. They also want the judge to make a default judgment in the case, saying these most recent incidents are part of a long line of court violations. So what's next? Stark will get a chance to respond, and then the future of his animals and his nonprofit sits in the hands of a judge. Shay McAllister, WHAS 11 News.